Dear friends, uh, welcome. Uh, I'm back after a very long time. It's been uh, close to two months until my last uh, video. So sorry, sorry. Really, I'm really sorry for making you wait. But I can tell you, I can confirm you that I'm still alive, alive and kicking and ready for new videos. So what are we going to speak about today? In today's video, I would like to show you a new um, update of Mighty Ramp, our favorite app for the use with our new X devices, like in the new X Mighty Air you can see in my, on my desk. Uh, Tuntori recently updated uh, <laughs> two times uh, the, the app because uh, it released the version 1.0.5 and a few days later the version 1.0.6. It concentrated on fixing some uh, important uh, topics, uh, some bugs uh, that were present uh, in the um, previous version 1.0.0 and I'm uh, here to show you what, uh, what we, we have new available uh, for you released by our great friend that is uh, uh, frequently very strongly working on this uh, on this uh, um, product or on this app <laughs> Okay, as we have said, uh, there, is, there are great news, uh, some additional features, some bug fixes in the Mighty Ramp application. So let me show you the screen on my smartphone so we can have a look together to the, my screen of, the, uh, of my smartphone. So let's go in uh, guitar area and let's open together Mighty Ramp new release. If you press a setting line, you will see that... Uh, version is uh, effectively 1.0.6 you can read it here where, where uh, up version is written but without losing time let me show you the new features and describe the bug that have been uh, fixed uh, recently but with these uh, new updates they are minor ones but some of the bugs that were corrected by Tuntori are very were very annoying and uh, we were <laughs> eager to see them removed uh, as soon as possible. Okay, the first uh, option uh, that has been added, the new functionality, is a metronome trainer that can be really helpful if you use uh, this app, these tools uh, for uh, learning to play guitar. It is available in the drums uh, uh, tab. You see that now the um, graphical user interface has been changed and updated by uh, Tuntori. It's more clean than before, um, re easily readable. Now the, uh, the version of uh, uh, backing, uh, backing track available is, uh, is uh, more visible, most, more clear, easier to be, to be set. And uh, there are a lot more options, in particular if you also have uh, uh, devices uh, that can uh, allow more more choices uh, like a mighty ramp uh, mighty mighty plug mighty plug pro or uh, uh, mighty space for example so it's very very interesting uh, of course uh, this page will adapt uh, to your device for example if i turn on my mighty ramp and connect it to to this uh, smartphone you see that uh, from the app uh, I can uh, connect it. Uh, so let's scan, connect uh, to Mighty Air. Mighty Air, of course, uh, has uh, less uh, options for metronome. So, of course, I will only see the styles available here. Uh, it depends on your device. If you're using Mighty Plug Pro or Mighty Space that have uh, a lot more options, you will see the full list. Even if you use, use other devices that, that includes a metronome, you can uh, select uh, the options available in the system. Very readable, very easy, quite uh, Apple style, I would say, but uh, usability has improved a lot. Thank you again to Tori for this. But let's see the new option that is the trainer. The trainer is, uh, simply speaking, something that allows you to try uh, something speeding up and up and up. So it is possible for you, uh, you can select the beats or seconds, so to understand uh, what, uh, what to do. You can set, uh, well, the, the level of the drums, of course, the, the, strong, the higher, the stronger, 
this is simply a volume so very easy if you have a trainer you see that at every loop of the green bar the the pace is increasing by the amount that you decide in. so let me stop so i can explain better you can have a tempo range so you can decide what is your starting point what is your your ending point for example i wanted to train between 80 and 120 so i just need to pull the sliders select the range i want then i can se select after how many bits or seconds i want to get the increase for example i want to increase the speed every the pace every 20 seconds for me it's very practical it or, or 20 bits you say you decide uh, how many you want 20 bits uh, starting with 80 means uh, a very short time so probably is not what we want for example we want to change uh, the to to increase the speed every 20 seconds or let's make it 10 seconds so it's easier to show you and we want to increase by five instead of five let's select 10 bpm at every loop so when I start, it starts from 80 as we imposed it. I'm confident that you hear from my mic uh, the beating of this, but in any case, you can have a look at the red bar. You hear, I think it has increased. Now it is 90. 10 seconds, it will become 100. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 seconds and another 10 bits. With the next loop, it will uh, stop there because we decided to keep as a range from 80 to 120. So, for example, if you have uh, um, a scale, a song, uh, a solo that you want to try and try and learn better, you can start uh, um, testing it at a very slow pace, like half speed, 50% or so. Is it 160 bit? You can start from 80 and then increase by a small amount every after a certain period. And this way you can speed up and learn it at full speed or even faster. So it's very flexible because you just need to select what you want to do, but it can help a lot to, to somebody that wants to learn. Uh, I, I, I believe that you agree with me that uh, uh, learning using a metronome uh, to be uh, faithful to, to the rhythm is always useful whenever it's uh, learning using or playing an instrument. So this is a very welcome uh, update. This one is uh, fully uh, controlled by the app and is not available in the official Mighty Amp app. So Tutori, thank you again, because this is another additional uh, tool that we can use within this app that is becoming more and more powerful every single day. Another addition performed by, uh, by Tuntori, and in particular, we are speaking about Gemtrax Volume Boost. So, to show you this, uh, I need to uh, let you see uh, again the Gemtrax section of the application, again, the tab, uh, the, the fourth tab in the bottom list. If I select uh, from, not from tracks, but from set list, so when I'm using uh, it, Definitely, the, the definite version of a song as a backing track. So when I'm using it exactly as a backing track, uh, I can play it. So for example, if I select this song from, from Judas Priest, uh, and I click, so let me pause it because the noise is too strong. You may see, remember that there is this line at the bottom that shows you the, the song. And if you press the arrow, the small arrow, you see the full uh, list of options available for the song. As you can see, there are uh, different uh, uh, buttons that were already present. So have a look at my video about uh, the use of Gem, Gem Tracks uh, uh, section to have details about uh, these uh, looping and everything else. Again, uh, the uh, interface, the graphical interface has been uh, polished by Tuntori, is more clean and easier to understand. Now you can see semitones uh, shown with the chroma, chroma symbol. You see that uh, auto advance uh, can also be uh, selected. Uh, you see that uh, you can also decide uh, to, the, to set speed with uh, a sort of uh, uh, 
speed uh, um, uh, speed indicator uh, in the um, at the center so it's very uh, it, it looks uh, very sexy now uh, you see that uh, there is a new up here that is this one track gain you may remember that amp volume was already present this one allows you to move to change the uh, volume of the amp applied by the system to the guitar uh, so you could reduce it but there is uh, a drawback if using this option it is very practical i use it every single day i explained also how to use it uh, in your presets because this way you can uh, normalize uh, all your uh, presets uh, for a similar level uh, without uh, and, and you can uh, set them at a, at a similar uh, gain uh, level so you can switch between uh, different presets without having volume boosts or volume draw, uh, draw, drop downs uh, and then when you are in a more noisy or uh, more silent environment you can just uh, change the the main volume that is uh, that is uh, what you see normally here this one uh, but there is a drawback when using gem tracks if you change that main volume uh, when uh, the, you set events for for moving from one preset to another because for example in a song you want to apply preset one for a certain section preset two for another section uh, there is a, a volume boost when you move it if the volume is not at 100 percent um, we spoke with tuntori he explained me why this happens and uh, too bad uh, it is not possible to fix it completely because it depends on how the system is working because the app is this that volume the main volume is controlling the volume in the app so it is applied just a little bit later after the change of preset so in the first uh, Part, uh, fraction of a second when there is the switch the volume goes to 100 percent and then it is correctly set at the level that you decided but this is very annoying because when you change it you say to, you, you hear a boom when the the volume is not at 100 uh, percent also uh, so it was also difficult to set the the right combination of level between uh, between the two by the way uh, many of you um, mentioned that uh, sometimes uh, backing tracks uh, are difficult to hear compared to the volume of the guitar and so here we have the fix uh, Tuntori had the uh, track gain that is something that allows to go to give uh, you see 7.2 db so a positive volume boost uh, to what you are playing as a backing track. What is applying is a sort of pre-amplification that allows us uh, to increase the volume that you will hear from your, from your device. And I can make you hear that because, of course, uh, just be careful. You may probably notice uh, you here. Apply, just make, uh, just, uh, you just need to have uh, to be careful not to uh, to abuse of this functionality because of course this is a pre-amplification is a very welcome addition and it is something that uh, I, I really appreciate uh, Tuntori added but consider that it is uh, useful when your backing track is uh, recorded with a very very low volume so you hear it very low in the system and a volume boost is welcome the track I've been playing uh, a moment ago uh, has a good uh, general level. So when I push the volume up, you heard that uh, it distorted because it is a preamplification that now that then saturates uh, the Bluetooth volume in the transmission to the system. So it is very helpful when you have uh, different backing tracks, uh, one with a good volume, another with very low, very low, and you can push it up to uh, to, 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 level, to um, level them between each other, align them between, between each other. So in any case, this one is an additional uh, option that uh, had freedom and possibility to, to improve. So again, a very welcome functionality. Thank you again to Tori for this. Now let's go to my favorite, one of the easiest probably addition and one of the, uh, the best uh, in, my, in my personal opinion, I really like it, that is the possibility to search in the preset library. If I press uh, the preset tab, the second one in the list, uh, I can show you that uh, there are some uh, more, um, there, there is a long that can become uh, very long. So if you, if I press the second button, you see I have different categories, but in every category there are uh, 
many presets uh, because uh, I saved uh, a lot of uh, options. Uh, I like to experiment, so it's difficult for me sometimes to find the right one because I never remember, did I place this one uh, in the song category or the clean one yeah i know i'm not so i'm not so good in keeping things uh, td and uh, and clean but in any case this can be very helpful because i would like to for find for example uh, something for scorpions you see i can press uh, the search button let me see uh, show you again you see the the lens uh, on top press on it then right here and while I write, the system is already filtering, you see, just two letters, and I already have the preset I was looking for. Very welcome, in particular, because this way you can also experiment, group them, group the, the presets together to, to show different options. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> for me, it's definitely practical, something that I was looking forward uh, and uh, hoped uh, had been added uh, for months i would say so again tutori you're my best you're my personal hero for adding all these incredibly useful functionalities okay uh, we are now close to the last up to the last um, addition that i would like to show you uh, i'm just giving you an idea this is uh, related to the addition of some midi controls uh, that can be added now uh, i know mm, there there are different uh, uh, possibilities uh, to use uh, to, to use these devices, uh, uh, MIDI controllers. So give me a second so I can put uh, in the camera also my uh, MIDI chocolate uh, uh, device. And uh, here we are. Let's put it here so you have an idea what we are speaking about. You may remember that this can have some buttons. It is also possible to add uh, a, an expression pedal if you like to. So let me move this one and show you also the pedal that can be connected here. And here we are. So our tools are ready because I would like to show you how to, how to use them together with the with our uh, Mighty Ramp application, and in particular, show you the additional hotkeys. Of course, what we will need to do is press uh, remote, as we did in other videos you will find in the channel. So I'm not giving you the details. I just want to explain you how to use the additional, ver the additional options. So press remote control. You see that uh, the devices are already connected. You have uh, to look for the devices uh, that shows a gear. Uh, if you have doubt on how to connect uh, the pedal the, the pedal to your smartphone, please have a look uh, at the other videos in the channel. There is one, I will leave the link uh, below, above, uh, to, that shows you exactly how to connect. Also, to if you have uh, an iPhone version of the, of the device. So, if I press the gear, so I can, that means options, of course, I can select uh, the five... Uh, menus that were already available but now I have some additional options the channel hotkeys is unchanged compared with version 1.0.0 so have a look of the additional functionalities of that app to for the, the an in detailed description of these ones the effect hotkeys has now <laughs> slightly increased because uh, there is now a possibility for many effects not only to switch on off or toggle that it used to be but also to select previous and next effects for example and of course as usual these ones can be associated to buttons in your in your midi pedal so it is always possible to to select them like that uh, but that's the only the only addition then in parameter odd keys instead there is a very welcome addition that is the possibility to select a volume this one you may remember that in this menu there are all options that can be um, uh, controlled with the expression pedal because they are not uh, uh, on off 
uh, toggles, but they are they require a selection uh, of some, some kind of slider, so the possibility to select the value in a range. That is uh, what is done moving moving the pedal. So it is an, a, a sort of um, continuous variable uh, value, not only on off. Uh, and now they are all to group together. Now you also have volume, so you can control the main volume of the app directly from there. It is something that, uh, I have to confess that I asked for this functionality in GitHub uh, website uh, managed by Tuntori some months ago, and it was so kind to add also this. Uh, this functionality, uh, really, really appreciated. There are some uh, additions. The list is always longer, but I think the, the, all the options are self-explanatory. Volume is the uh, most welcome one, the, more, the, the newest one, of course. Uh, for drum, uh, drums, hotkeys, uh, I cannot see new uh, particular uh, additions. Uh, if you have a look uh, at my video about uh, the control of the drum uh, of the drum uh, section. Uh, this is unchanged, so you can uh, have a refer to that for uh, for additions. And uh, I would say that is also valid for uh, the the jam tracks uh, uh, section that are still the same. But you may see if you are not familiar with this, please have a look at the other videos where there are descriptions step by step on how to control this one, but it is something that I personally find fantastic because you can use very inexpensive tools like this one. Consider that these two together uh, are worth less than $40 uh, in different, uh, different, from different sources online. So feel free to purchase them. And uh, their power is uh, released by this app. Without this app, uh, it's uh, very difficult to have a practical and every functionality Tuntori has here in this uh, in this menu it is something that can be controlled with that system so more than welcome very easy you have your hands free and it is something really 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 useful when learning when practicing and so on so uh, being said this uh, okay this was uh, as a minor video just an update about uh, uh, what can be done if uh, um, if you install and upgrade your app to the version 1.0.6 that is now available both in the Google Play Store and in the uh, and in the um, Apple Store? I just would like to warn you. I've showed you the list of uh, major updates uh, produced by Tuntori. There are also some additions that you can find in the change log on on the Play Store in the description of the app within the Facebook group because uh, Tuntori always uh, provide uh, change logs and updates when a new version of the app is available, so we can uh, install it immediately. Uh, he fixed also some other bugs that are specific for, for some uh, uh, devices like uh, Mighty Bluetooth. Uh, and so on so they are not so general so i didn't thought it was a good idea to include them in this video uh, also i don't have those kind of devices so i could not verify this one uh, one important warning the um, gem tracks volume boost uh, i have been showing you uh, that is very welcome uh, as far as i know is currently only available for android uh, I'm confident that Tuntori will find a way to make it available also for iOS version of the app, but for the moment, according to my information, uh, it is not yet available for iOS system, but just stay tuned. Uh, I, I'm confident that it will become available uh, very soon. So. Thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> you cannot uh, you, you cannot understand how happy I am to be back with you. Uh, I had uh, some troubles. I cannot give you details, of course, uh, but I, I didn't uh, meant to betray you or something like that. Uh, I, I have been missing because of major uh, major drawbacks, major problems, if, if I have to say, but don't worry, I'm back, I'm <laughs> alive and kicking and sad, uh, no problem at all, and uh, I will do my best to return to the usual frequency and provide uh, uh, a new video every week uh, as uh, I used to do in the, in the past months. So thank you again for watching. Uh, welcome, welcome for the new subscribers. I see that uh, in uh, during my absence, in any case, the the channel went on. Thank you, everybody. You cannot understand how helpful it is for me 
uh, not from an economic point of view, because of course, this is something I do in my spare time, but having your feedback, your comments, your questions uh, is very welcome because uh, it shows me that uh, what I'm doing can be uh, helpful and welcome by, by, by you, so by, by, your, uh, by, uh, by a lot of people. And I really appreciate it. This one, it gives me, uh, it, it pushed me forward and makes, uh, makes it possible for me to create this video uh, and be motivated uh, to, to do that. So thank you again for watching. Uh, I'm uh, renewing to you the, the meeting for next week. So. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I try to be faithful to, to this, uh, to this uh, appointment uh, from now on. So bye-bye.